flow. This is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Parameter Estimation. And we're going to look at ancillary statistics in this video. So definition one is let X be distributed with this density or, or distribution. A statistic T, and we're just going to use T, but technically we probably should write it as a function of the data is an ancillary statistic if the distribution does not depend upon theta. Now, definition two is a trivially an ancillary statistic is a constant function where C is a constant. So it's trivially, you know, independent of theta. So often we don't look at these, the trivial ancillary statistic. Definition three, a statistic T is a first order ancillary statistic if and only if the expected value of the t statistic does not depend upon theta. And the note here is that this is related to what's called a complete statistic, which we will uh, start talking about in a couple of videos. Now an example, let's let xi be normally distributed mean mu variance sigma squared i equals 1 to n let's let s squared be the sample variance now it's widely known that if you multiply it by minus 1 and that's really to get rid of this divisor divide by the population variance that this quantity is a chi squared with n minus 1 degrees of freedom so if, then if we multiply those over, then S squared, the sample variance, is distributed with this quantity. It's a constant times a chi-squared distribution. But note, therefore, S squared is not ancillary because it depends upon sigma squared. However, for a known sigma squared, so if, if Xi is mean mu and known variance, then S squared is ancillary for mu because it does not depend upon mu. Now, a concept that we're only going to touch upon, and maybe I'll uh, add a video describing this in much more detail, but we have what's called a location scale family. And there's also what's called location families and scale families, but we're combining them into a location scale family. So let X be distributed with the, uh, F, and then uh, let it be a density. Note there's no parameters here in this function. And so my mindset is, uh, think of the uh, standard normal distribution where there's no, you know, the mean is zero, the variance is one, you know, there's no parameters in that. So that's what this represents. Or a uniform 0, 1 random variable. You know, there's no parameters. So let y equal, um, you know, x minus mu divided by sigma, where mu is a real number, you know, the sigma is a positive value. Then the density of y, which, you know, which is this, it can be written like this. Okay. The family of distributions associated with Y is called the location scale family associated with X. Now, F, F of X is called the standard location scale distribution if the mean is zero and the variance is one. So we have the normal distribution and we have the standard normal distribution. So the standard normal distribution has no parameters and the mean is zero and the variance is one. Now, if X is distributed with some location scale distribution, then you can kind of go backwards. You can multiply it times the variance or the you know sigma and add the mean and then it goes back to f of x, so where there's no parameters, if this is a true location scale family. Okay, so example one, show that wi, which is this, so it's xi minus mu divided by sigma. Now note, this is the ith order statistic, and and actually it doesn't have, it could be just xi, but 
and this what I'm getting ready to show you still works but we're using the ith order statistic we're going to show that this is ancillary where x is f of x given mu and sigma and that this density is a location scale family so the density for the ith order statistic is this um, since this is a location scale family the the CDF is written like this right because you back you back solve for this and and that's the density and this is the 1 minus the CDF so we're not going to cover order statistics in this video but just tell you that this is the density for the ith order statistic now let XI equal this so remember we're sort of back transforming it there the Jacobian of this transformation is just sigma so the density with respect to W remember when you when you back transform it it loses the you know the distribution loses the parameter so here when you back trans so, you know solve it plug it in here now notice that when you plug it in X you plug this in first of all the mu's cancel plus mu minus mu and then divided by sigma so we're just less but W so we're we lose the parameters um, and this is independent of mu and sigma okay now I introduced that one because of the next example which I think is quite cool so we're going to let X be distributed with um, F you know F of X given mu and sigma and it be a, it, it is a location scale family and for I equal uh, for JK and L between 1 and N we're going to show that this is an ancillary statistic so XI minus XJ divided by XK minus XL it's ancillary um, and of course you can't have we uh, we can't let XK and XL equal otherwise we'll be dividing by 0 so let W which is this so what we do is we add 0 so we add mu and subtract mu so that's this piece here so we're adding 0 and we add 0 and then we multiply by 1 which is 1 divided by sigma divided by 1 divided by sigma and so we've added 0 and multiplied by 1 so we have not changed this but that's what this is but if you look at this first piece here that's what we were calling WI up here right this is ancillary and this piece here it, it we, we in the notation that first example we were calling WJ which is in which is an ancillary statistic same right here so W is a function of random variables that are independent of mu and sigma right these are all independent of mu and sigma so W is a function of random variables that are independent of mu and sigma so thus mu uh, w is independent of mu and sigma okay well that's all I have for this video the next video I'm going to do a couple more examples of ancillary statistics and then we'll move on to complete statistics well I hope you enjoyed this I sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye